Hi everyone, today we're looking at contextual searches. Contextual search is the box that you usually see underneath a short description for many kinds of task records, such as incidents and customer service cases. And this box displays relevant search results from knowledge bases and catalog items to help us quickly resolve the task at hand. So rather than having a related list that is updated when you save the record, the contextual search results appear in real time. So in this demonstration today, we are going to add a contextual search box to a form in a custom table to display search results from a specific knowledge base. Okay, so the custom table I've got here is this vehicle issue table. Uh, this is just a simple form that I've got here. It extends from the task table and I've got a few basic fields here, including the short description. So what we want to do here is add the contextual search results just underneath the short description, just like we do for the incident table, for example. So if I come down here, you can see the related search results here, and uh, this will display results from service catalog, from knowledge bases based on the short description. Okay, so our First port of call is a search context. Okay, so let's go to contextual search here. And we'll come down to search context. This is kind of like the framework for our contextual search. And we'll go ahead and create a new entry here. And we'll just call this vehicle uh, articles. Okay, and articles related to uh, vehicle faults. Okay, and I'm going to leave everything else as the default, um, but I'm going to specify a searcher. So this will actually determine what it is that we're actually searching. Is it catalog items or knowledge base articles or maybe something else? But in contextual search in ServiceNow, it's a little bit restricted because you can't actually add your own tables to be searched. Okay, so if I just specify knowledge only here, let me just save the record and we'll just take a look at that searcher table. So if we come across to searches here, this is the table that is being referenced by that field. You can see here we've got a variety of knowledge base and catalog searches. And they're basically the two items that you can search. You can't actually add your own custom tables here to be searched, okay? So you're a little bit restricted there. So let's come back to our search context. Now, the next thing we have to do is to specify where we want this contextual search box to appear. Uh, it could appear in different locations, record producers, uh, a form in a platform UI, a form in workspace, etc. So I'm going to come to Table Configurations and click New. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is specify the table. So I will select here the Vehicle Issue Table. Okay, the UI type. It's going to be in the regular platform UI, but you can also make it available in your workspaces. Other search context is there. By default, uh, we've got a title, related search results. We could change that to something else, such as um, or related fault articles, for example. And I'll accept the default here as well. Uh, active is true. So in other words, only active records will display the contextual search, but you can change that filter. And search as some of you may know this already, I've seen this before, perhaps in a ServiceNow training class. Uh, if you enable that, you allow you or allows the, the user to select another user to perform the search as. So if you have user criteria for your knowledge base articles and catalog items, then the search results that you get in the contextual search will be based on the user that is currently logged in that is using it. And that may not necessarily be the same as the person who a task is recorded against. So if you want to kind of ensure that the user that you want to send an article to or attach an article to a task record for uh, is, should have the right to view that article, uh, then you can actually come here to search as and go, okay, I want to search as the person who is assigned to the task or the caller or someone else. At the moment, I don't have a caller because I don't have a caller in my vehicle 
issue table. All right, so I'll just leave that as it is and go ahead and save it. Okay, so that should work just fine as it is without doing anything else. Okay, we can see down here in related lists uh, by default, the short description for task records is used uh, to search, otherwise the search query for your articles or catalog items. And But I'll just leave everything as is at the moment. So if I come back to my form, if I reload this page, we won't actually see the contextual search box yet. We have to make a change to the form itself. So if I go to ServiceNow Studio here, uh, this is the current layout of the form. So all I need to do is to scroll down to the bottom here and get my contextual search results formatter, okay, which is pre-configured in the platform. So I'm just going to drag and drop that straight underneath short description and save it. Okay, so we can go ahead and test this now. If I come back to the form here and reload it. Okay, we've got our related full articles there. Okay, now it's going to use the short description here as the query. So if I open up that, uh, we've got uh, a couple of articles here. All right. But at the moment, if I were to put in something else here, I'm just going to put in email and tab. Uh, we can see we've got articles here from different knowledge bases, uh, IT and so forth. Okay, so we're not actually restricted yet to a particular knowledge base. It's searching every single knowledge base that I've got access to at the moment. Okay, so what I will do to change that, let's come back to our search context. Uh, so I will go back a page. That's a table configuration. And we'll open up the vehicle articles one that we created. Okay, so to restrict, you are able to, first of all, restrict access to a or the search to a particular knowledge base or knowledge bases or catalog or catalogs um, by going to the resource configurations tab here. So this is entry here is populated automatically as soon as you put in a searcher and save the record. So if I open up the one here for knowledge, uh, what we need to do here is come to the condition And basically put an encoded query in here to say which knowledge bases we want to restrict the search to. Okay, there is some documentation on this as well. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy this. All right, this is the sys ID of the vehicle faults knowledge base that I've already created. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Okay, so what I've done, I've accidentally included some spaces here before and after the operator. Okay, so I've removed those spaces. Uh, I'm not sure if I saved it, let's save it again. And we'll come back and refresh this page. And we should find now that those articles are back. Okay, but they're from the vehicle faults knowledge base, that's okay. But if we replace the short description with something like email and I press tab, we get nothing because we're not searching any other knowledge base and there are no articles in my vehicle faults knowledge base that have anything to do with email. Okay, let's go one step further. Now that we've restricted the search to a specific knowledge base, let's say we had thousands of articles in that knowledge base and that was just kind of clogging up the search and we weren't really getting accurate search results. Is there a way in which we can perform some other filter on those records? Well, yes, there is. Uh, we can restrict or filter those records according to essentially whatever we want. So if we come back to our search resource, let me just go back here uh, to search context at the start of the beginning and come down to vehicle articles. And this time, instead of configuring the resource configurations where we can determine which knowledge base or catalogs we want to um, filter against or restrict the search to, we can go to table configurations this time and open up that one that we created earlier. And this time we can come down to filter configurations. 
and specify a filter. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the resource configuration will be based on knowledge articles. That was one that we were using. And if I come to the reference icon here, you can see there's only one possible one because that's the only one that's attached to our search context. So we've got that. Now we need to script this. You can actually do it an old school way if I actually save this. Well, old school, I mean just standard filter configuration here. Uh, but I want to script it. Okay, I want something a little bit more advanced than what is possible with that standard condition builder there because I want to do a little bit of dot walking. So I'm going to, first of all, save that. Now I've got here another line of code that I'm going to use. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to restrict the query, not only to that knowledge base, but we're going to use the category of the articles that has to equal the, the make of the vehicle. So I'm actually dot walking here to the vehicle table. So let's do that and come back. And I'm just going to put it straight underneath that add active query line. Pop it straight in there. And that's all I need to do. Okay, save it. And now we can go ahead and test it. All right, so we can come back to our view called issues here. Now, in order to test, we'll need to understand what articles we have in the different categories. So if I come back here to Volvo, if I put in something like oil pressure here, let's see if that is returned. Uh, again, I'll just refresh the page here. Again, I'm not sure if it's necessary. It shouldn't be, but I always like to be on the safe side <laughs> uh, in case anything is cached that I'm not aware of. So I'll put in here oil pressure tab. We get that article. Excellent. Let's put a search query in here that is based on an article in another category, such as engine stalls. Now in Volvo, we don't have anything related to that. So let's... Put in engine, oops, let's get the typing going. Uh, engine stalls tab, nothing. Not because Volvo engines never stall, <laughs> but because we restricted the search query to a particular category based on the make of the vehicle. And if you look at the, the vehicle, I mean, it doesn't say Volvo in here, but if you go to the preview here, it is actually a Volvo make that we're dealing with here okay so that's it everyone that's how you add a contextual search box to your own custom table there's a few other things that we didn't go into different configuration but check the documentation uh, there's a couple of things from memory uh, such as when you want to restrict based on a catalog i don't think you need to specify the sys id i think just the name of the catalog suffices in the filter configuration and the, the word that you want to base the search query on. I think for task tables, it's restricted to short description and a few other fields. You can't just select any field. Uh, but if a custom table is selected, then you've got a little bit more uh, freedom there. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, remember the, the configuration itself is slightly restricted in terms of what table you can search. So you are restricted to catalog items and knowledge base articles uh, in general. Although for, I think you can also search for incidents and problem records and things like this. There uh, are also additional resources that you will find there that are being pre-configured. Uh, so if you want to search for records in some other custom table, you'll need to add that as a related list uh, to the form and populate that accordingly. So thanks very much for watching everyone and see you next time.